So the contamination problem at this site is at least 30 years old. The discharge was initially reported, I think, in 1987. Through our assessment activities, we determined that the tank pit area uh, was the source of the contamination and that in order to accurately access that contaminated soil and groundwater, the tanks had to be removed. Uh, we made this recommendation to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and they agreed that the tanks had to go in order to expedite site cleanup. So through the assessment phase, we had determined that the petroleum contaminated soil and the underground storage tanks were a continuing source for groundwater impacts and that by removing these sources, uh, we could expedite groundwater cleanup. Not only that, it would allow us access to that source area to come in at a later time and actually install our remedial points, which were going to consist of air sparge and vapor extraction. This project offered a, a specific challenge. It's, it's not an unusual challenge, but a, a challenge nonetheless in that uh, the underground storage tanks had been abandoned in place used by filling with cement grout. Um, before we could actually remove the tanks, we had to first use a 20-ton excavator with a hydraulic hammer mounted on the, the front end to actually pound out the grout so that we could remove it. And then we had to come in behind that and use a 30-ton excavator to lift the tanks from the excavation. Um, and also the 30-ton excavator was used to, to remove the contaminated soil. Uh, once the soil was removed from the, the tank pit area, we used a front end loader, which allowed us to manage the contaminated soil, and it also allowed us to offload the soil into dump trucks for offsite transport and proper disposal. The soil and tank removal phase of this project really represents phase three, with phase one being discovery, phase two being the assessment side, and then of course soil and tank removal. Uh, after this, we'll, we'll begin installing the remedial points, the air sparge and vapor extraction points, and tying it into our remedial equipment that will uh, be able to remove the contaminant mass from groundwater. So at the end of this project, not only have we met the cleanup target levels established by the state, but we've delivered a clean property. And this is uh, not only protective of public health and safety and nearby receptors, but we've removed that stigma of contamination and revived the property value. As with any job, it's important that we be on time and on budget, but most importantly, we have to do it safely and within the guidelines of the environmental regulations.